Hello friends, welcome back to Resin Ween. Yes, I'm doing another one of these diamond paintings. Aren't they so pretty? <laughs> um, I absolutely loved the way that the other one turned out. I will put the link up in the iCard if you have not seen it. It was spectacular, spooktacular even. Um, we're going to do the same thing with this except we're going to do it a smidge different. I am going to still have the black background in there, but I'm going to add some um, some of my cat scrappiness good goodness that I have. Um, this week I'm on a cat scrappiness kick. Um, as you saw, one of the more recent ones. So I'm gonna pick. Okay, I think I already know what I want to do. Because there's a lot of purple in, um, in this diamond set. So, I think I want to do some of that stuff. So let's, there's just so, <laughs> there's so much. Um, so let's scroll through and see which ones, I like this one a lot, um, hmm, but it's got the Grinch in it, and I don't necessarily want a Grinch in there. This one is really cool, though, because it's the graveyard shift, and it's got, like, the tombstones and the little bones in it. So maybe we'll do this one and some of these sprinkles, the Halloween dot sprinkles. Um, well, no, because there's no orange in there. I'm looking at the picture to the side, by the way. There's not really any orange in there, so let's not do that one. Ooh. Let's do this one, these two. Okay. Okay. So we're going to use these two, and um, I'm going to sprinkle them around the edges um, after we glue down the piece. Okay, so we're going to do the black, just like last time, black base layer. Once that's cured, we'll glue down the um, diamond painting and add the little sprinkles in, and then we will add our resin in. And hopefully, we will... Hope and pray that these do not float to the top. Hmm. Now I'm wondering, should I add these in before the black is completely cured? You know? I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay? Alright. So, cute and simple one today, you guys. So, let's go ahead and let's get our resin warmed up. And mixed up and poured. And we'll get started.
eight. She's cured. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> oddly enough, I was having an issue where a couple of these pieces wanted to float, even though was it yesterday? Mm -hmm. Was it yesterday's video? I don't know. The one, the coaster one, where I used a bunch of these pieces, um, it didn't float. So I just ended up using my tweezers and picking them out. But I just think this is so adorable. Um, so this was, this diamond painting um, was one that my housemate um, who did the diamond paintings for me, uh, really, really wanted. So, I am giving this to her. Hopefully she loves it. I think it turned out fantastic. Um, again, I'm not seeing a whole lot of bubbles, and I'm so excited about that. <laughs> um, also, I am seeing that everything looks flat. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, okay, it's a, uh, uh, an optical illusion that the diamonds have flattened, right? Um, cause they're still, you know, they're still actual 3D. Like the resin isn't pushing <laughs> diamonds down. Um, I just think it's hilarious. It's so funny to me, but I think that this turned out so great, and I know that she's probably going to love it, and I cannot wait to take it upstairs and give it to her. So, anyway, that is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. Really helps out my channel, helps me to grow. Also, if you are new, stick around by clicking the red subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I hope that you... Have a fantastic day. Take care.